you've ever been working in pivot tables and you wanted to group your row labels into subsections, pivot tables allow you to do that fairly easily, particularly if you're working with dates. So for instance here, we're looking at a data set here where we have sales revenue by sales date. Um, if we want to group these by say month, we would simply right click anywhere in this column and then hit group and a prompt box will come up where I can either manually input which date ranges I want to group by or what I like to use is one of these pre-existing segments and months already selected so I leave it selected and hit OK and then as you'll see the data gets um, very nicely grouped by month. Um, you need to be careful when you do this though if you have multiple years worth of data it will lump um, all January regardless of year sales so make sure you know what data you're working with if it's multi-year or not when you do this if it is not a date you can still filter or I'm sorry you could still segment but it's a slightly more manual process so let's say um, your boss came to you and said he wanted to know the sales um, for everyone under the age of 30 and then from 31 to 50 you could easily add these up, but you could also segment these so that they're always there for you. So from 18 to 30, 30 we highlight, right click, hit group, and then we can rename this group to whatever we want. Let's say less than 30 sales. And we can minimize that. And then he, I think he said he also wanted 31 to 50. We group those as well. And we'll call that 31 to 50 sales. We can minimize that. And collapse entire field. So, as you can see, you can segment by different um, attributes. Dates are definitely easiest, but you can do it basically anything that exists in this row label column. You just right click and hit group, and then you can walk through it from there. Thanks for listening.